present for our walk in this world. They resound. Welcome again to Dear Lover of God, and thank you, as always, for allowing me to join you as we spend just a few moments in the Word of God, as we spend just a few moments in Luke's account of the life of Christ, as he writes to Theophilus, that lover of God. We come now to Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18, and let's read together the first eight verses. Luke 18, 1 through 8. And he told them a parable to the effect that they, that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Give me justice against my adversary. For while he refused, but for a while he refused, but afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice, so that she will not beat me down by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says, and will not God give justice to his elect who cry out to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? You know, as I'm reading through that, there is a contrast here. Jesus is not saying that God is just like that judge that you have to pray continually to God in order for God to hear you, in order for God to answer you. But he is saying that just like, that he's saying that humans, that that people, that, that even unrighteous and, and uncaring and ungodly judges will eventually do something if you keep bothering them. But God, on the other hand, is a righteous judge. He's the righteous father, and he will take care of things speedily, just spend time talking to him and pray to him. In fact, Luke explains the parable there in the very beginning. He told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Keep praying to God. He's going to take care of it. Now, let me back up for just a moment. The problem is that sometimes what we think is justice what we think is the only answer is not the only answer. I've said this a number of times in sermons and in Bible classes, but God answers prayer in a number of ways. What we think is an answer is when God says yes, kind of like children. When, when children ask a parent for something, if a, children, if a parent doesn't say yes, then the child is upset that they didn't get the answer they wanted. Sometimes if we don't get the answer we want, we think God has an answer when really he has. God will do what's right. Sometimes he will answer yes. Sometimes God will say no. He can look at what we're asking and what we're thinking and what we're doing and go, no, that, that's not the way it needs to be. That's not what's best for you. Just like a parent can tell a child, no, you don't need to stick that fork into the light socket. The child doesn't know that it's bad. The child wants to do it. Why can't I? Can I try this? No, don't try that. See, God can look at us and know, much better about what we need than we do. Sometimes God can say, wait. You, know, you want this, you want it now, but God says, no, not, now's not the time. Wait. Sometimes God can say, no, but here is something else. No, that's not what's right for you, but, but here's something better. You know, Paul asked God to remove the thorn in the flesh, and, Jesus, and, and the answer was, no, my grace is enough. Sometimes God might say, yes, and here is more. I think of Solomon when he asked for wisdom, and God said, since you asked for wisdom, you're going to get fame and wealth as well. So there are a number of ways that God can answer our prayer. He's a righteous God. He is the righteous judge, and he will answer what is best for us. Just pray and put your faith and your trust in God. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for your blessings, for your care, for your compassion. Father, we thank you that you are righteous, that you are just, that you always do what is best for us. Father, help us to learn to ask. Help us to learn to trust your answers. Thank you for Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you. Don't stop praying. Don't stop trusting in God.
I look forward to these. I hope you do as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come.